You're gonna miss me Dreaming to kiss me And you'll be broken When I don't love you no more There's a couple of milestones that have changed singer-songwriter Rami Mae's life this year. One is she turned 40. And well, I got older and it's more serious now, you know, like if I'm going to put all this time in, it's not about the party, you know? I knew what you were going to say because like, I was like, usually you'd come in for the interviews and I'd have a smoke and a beer in my hand and be like, let's hang out on the porch, woo, Tracy's here. But I just, I mean, I don't really, I got older <laughs> I'm tired. How could I let you, let me regret you? Rami is coming out with Devil on Both Shoulders, her first album in four years, and she's doing it differently this time. She's quit smoking, is in a good and stable relationship, and this time it's not a party. Another change on this album is the absence of her decade-long guitar pal Jay Nowicki, who has chosen to concentrate more on his family and his old band, The Perpetrators. Again, another milestone for Rami and a challenge to find a new band and producer. So that, is, it sort of put me out there on my own, which kind of made me feel a little almost nervous again, like I was, you know, and I didn't realize how much I was leaning on Jay to, to make it okay, you know? And so when he said, you know, I don't think I'm gonna be doing too much more touring, but uh, if you know anything local or, you know, we'll still play music together. I was like, oh, no problem, that makes sense. I appreciate that. And then about an hour later, I was like, <laughs> like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> like, it just freaked out, you know? I just, I didn't know what I was getting. So it's been, it's been a bit of a process and it's stressful, you know. Rami's idol Grant Siemens took over the project and with his band of local musicians turned her songs into something quite different. So I wrote these songs and I showed them to him, but he has so much feel and so much, um, these groove sentimentalities that are just so, so cool that he made them way cooler, you know, just instead of them being like, damn, 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 you know, whatever, they were like, well, you know, it was like, like it kind of to me explains like, like it, he took the stones and he made it JJ Kale or something, you know, and instead of my straight ahead sort of bluesy rock, he made it, these songs really, really groovy and more mature. No more sitting and wondering why I will give you forgiveness, I can't give you no more. Rami found her real voice with this record, and that is something she is proud of. It made me a better singer for the album, for sure, and made, because I didn't have anything else to focus on, it, at first it kind of hit my ego, you know, I was like, but I'm, but I'm a guitar player, you know, but I, it was my own decision, like, I better not play guitar. When I removed the ego part and I re realized it was for the best of the album, I got to really focus on the melody and the lyrics, and so every day in the studio, uh, while things were going on, I was just working on the melody and the lyrics. Focused, focused, focused. I mean, it took me four years to be con content with 10 songs, you know? So it, I, I really like them, you know? And I really think that this is a step up from all my other writing and all my other albums. And I, so I'm really proud of the singing and the writing, for sure. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Tracy Koga.